straight, aka the Berigina straight theory, aka whatever you want to call it, was debunking is an ain't. Oh boy, you took it too far consciously. If only you took into consideration and really thought about what you said, you would probably need to be start diving deep into this information, brother, concerning the original Americans. So you say education is elevation, quote unquote. How come you're not teaching any of your students in your schools that they had surnames that traces them back from the, to their great grandparents, their great great grandparents, and so forth and so forth, instead of just teaching them that they had a luxurious history all across North Central and South America, and not as African slaves. If we really were from Central and Western Africa, how do we end up with names like Shaniqua, Amal Shaniqua? from the Achantanous American tribes, like the Argonquin and the Iroquois Confederations. Hey, if you really want to get down to it, let's talk about how the archaeologists and anthropologists who found pre-Columbian populations all throughout Central and South America where the Tainos and the Caribs lived in these different islands and these territories, and how the term Moor was applied to any person living in any of the particular islands where the Tainos and the Arawaks first stayed at and to, to apply to any native of Los Española. And a lot of the other Moors here on the North Gate, North America, who are called American Indians, come from these particular Moors and Turks from the Nantico tribes from the 1600s, 1639 to 1654 to 1670. Even in in places like states like Virginia. And I bet you don't know who this person is. In 1866, during the Civil War, this was the last ever Cherokee nation leader. His name was Rabadan Ibn Wati, a Muslim. And here's another reliable source of the book called Muslims in America, where El Ha Shaft Abdul Ali, i.e., Noble Drew Ali, was one of the very first persons to ever establish a theocratic government called the Moorish Science Temple of America all throughout the Barbie states in the United States Republic of Al Morocco, the, the Moorish Empire. So tell me, Mr. Lee, if we're not the first people to ever populate the Western Hemisphere, who are these folks? That right there is the black congressman, what you will call but they are the original lawmakers in the Americas, just like the Black Wall Street businesses, everything that we had here.